make sure I'm looking in the right place. Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is Yudi, and I go by Yudi on the glow here and on my other social media platforms. So make sure you subscribe to me here. Go ahead, subscribe, go ahead, hit that like, and follow me there today. Today is kind of like a continuation of my portions into textures video. So today we're talking about easy ways to layer your looks to add a bit more dimension, to add a bit more drama. And I feel like when you layer, it just takes your look up another notch and really adds to your personal style because not everyone thinks to layer not everyone thinks to go there so it's a really great way to show your style and things that are very specific to you because not everyone is going to think to layer the exact same way so i feel like this is really for days that you're bored with your closet or you really want to challenge yourself to try something new and really the key to this is adding pieces on taking a step back asking do i look crazy or do i look balanced in proportion you have to kind of do a checks and balances to see what works so i have a few categories for us to go through because y'all know i love a good category but I'm going to go ahead and set the disclaimer. Now, with all of these categories, a lot of them overlap. So don't really spend your time or get overwhelmed trying to focus on the category. Just kind of pick and choose what works for you because these kind of flow into each other. So without further ado, let's jump right in. My first category is put a top underneath. So that top can be a blouse with a color. It can be a turtleneck like what I have on today put that up under something and for that something I feel like it's very easy to do that under dresses so a lot of the examples I have here are kind of like simple dresses with two straps also called pinafores if you're looking for something similar at least that's the name I grew up hearing pinafore comes from something that means apron like so some of them if you kind of squint hard enough you can kind of see the apron showing through but the name you know the name just kind of carries on so whatever dress works for you whether it's something that's a pinafore like two straps it's giving you a v-neck or a square neck or you can even do a suit top that's gonna give you that look and it, it kind of gives a little prep to your step you can also go about accessorizing this adding a tie adding sunglasses whatever you like or if you're wearing a button down you can play with the buttons closed the buttons open that just kind of adds to whatever style whatever feeling whatever mood you're in that day go with the flow of that and another way you can go about putting a top underneath you can also do this with sweaters and sweatshirts and just have that collar poking out this is something I like doing, especially in the cooler months, because it just gives me a little added layer to my winter and fall basics. Next category is put a top over it. So we went under, now we're going over. And here, what I really want you guys to think about are those statement pieces. Things that are embellished, things that have sequins, things that have beading, those are really gonna jazz it up. Once you throw that over a basic top, a basic dress, whatever you have as your base underneath, Throw something that's a statement piece over it and it's gonna add that texture, it's gonna add that drama. And those statement pieces can be crop tops, camisoles, whatever it is, just go ahead and throw that top on top and move with confidence. So for some of the pictures I wanted to highlight here, I found this picture of the Yusufs. I love that it's giving you a monochrome fit and instead of kind of getting lost in that beige or I don't even know if I can also call it sage, maybe champagne. Instead of getting lost in that very neutral base, we have a little bit of that beading really bringing it back. Then we accessorize sunnies, boots, back. I also like this other picture because it looks like she's wearing a jumpsuit and I don't see people layer as much with jumpsuits. So again, if you're a jumpsuit girl or you're bored with your wardrobe or you have a jumpsuit that let's say you might wear that more in the warmer months and it's still kind of cold outside, if you want to get used out of your closet, go ahead and play around with those. This one's a little bit out of the category, but you guys get what I mean. And like I said earlier, we're going to have a lot of overlap. So this next category is, is throwing tanks and sweater vests over shirt hair is very easy to get that preppy look or that elevated casuals look you can keep it really simple to your basic colors like your white your black your browns and just play around with that color scheme or keep it very monochrome or you can add some prints in there throw in some stripes this is another area where you can play around with that texture a lot of the focus for that layer is going to be that collar popping out and depending on the style you want also, the tail or bottom of that shirt underneath peeking through from whatever tank or sweater you have on top, that's going to add a little bit more to your look than just throwing on the tank top, than just throwing on the sweater vest or sweatshirt. And I feel like it's super easy. Like, we all can do this. Do y'all agree? Because I feel like this is simple. Any of us can achieve this. So, go for it. My next category is the sweater over the dress. And here you can kind of style some of your dresses like skirts. So, in my styling fall and winter looks, check that out 
know if you guys have not thought it was a really good video but i feel like the people weren't really watching it like that but definitely check that video out in that video i have a slip satin dress and over it i put a chunky sweater so in a way that dress kind of looks like the skirt but i have the sweater up top another thing i did when i was styling my friend and going through her closet i found this long line button down shirt dress so i had her wear that and it had this frill at the bottom. With this frill at the bottom, I had her put a sweater over top. And since we're styling for an outing where we want it to be comfortable and warm, I had her throw on her Doc Martin ankle boots at the bottom. And it was such her style when she threw her trench coat over. It was the look. It was something that was so simple and easy to do, but it had things about it that brought it that dimension, that brought it some drama, but yet it was still comfortable and it still kept her warm. So these things you can do, play around with what you already have in your closet. And I would say this look over here, somewhat similar to the look I had my friend in. So as we see, we have the long white shirt dress. We have a sweater over top and it looks like she went with thigh high boot. You can go the thigh high boot look or you can keep it to an ankle boot look or even make it a knee high. And from there, depending on what you want to do, it can be a flat boot or a heel boot. It just depends on whatever mood you're in and where you're going, whatever you feel like is most fitting for the occasion or whatever is most comfortable for you. So there's different ways to go about this. And another way you can do this, I have to spotlight one of my favorites. You can take a dress or whatever you're wearing and throw one of those knitted chunky sweaters that are like bolero style or crop you still kind of get that added layer on there so it's not just a plain piece if your top half or arms were going to be exposed that's going to add that warmth in there and just take the look to another level and i remember seeing this video on tiktok a while ago oh it's going to take me a while to find it but one of the hacks they did if you don't have a shirt dress or a button down blouse that is long enough what you can do you can tie that blouse around your waist button it down so it kind of looks like a skirt and then put your sweater over top and then kind of tuck away the arms of the shirt and boom it looks like you have a shirt dress so i really hope i can find that video so you guys can really see what i'm talking about because if you anything like me like i'm visual i'm very visual so i hope i can find that to let you guys know now this next category is throw it over pants and that can be whatever. So with this, I'm mainly thinking about looks that I've seen that have dresses or slip dresses over pants or tunics over pants. It gives you that extraness because because of typically when we think of pants, we think of pants paired with a top, but not often do we think of pants paired with a dress, at least in everyday wear, unless you're wearing more traditional or cultural looks, that's a different story. So, so I definitely came across these two looks when I was putting together the um, proportions and dimension videos for you guys. For this first look, we have just a t-shirt and it looks like, looks like leggings or pants of the same color. We started off with something very monochrome at the base. Her throwing on this almost sheer like maxi dress as color. It has a little something extra and it's something that you do not see every day. This is giving style. This is what it's giving. This next one I feel like is really transition and ready for that spring time. So we have the leather on the bottom. Then we have the slip dress with this really, really high slit that really lets you see both the dress and the pants. And what I really like about the look, aside from the glowingness of her skin, is that we're playing around with two different textures. Never be afraid to mix it up. Like I said, sometimes you just gonna have to throw it on, take a step back, and see do i look crazy do i look balanced do i look proportioned if not it's very much so give and take but this is a great example of mixing textures we have the satin against the leather and that's already giving you a moment then we have the proportions with the length of the dress the slit of the dress and it looks like we have i'm gonna call it a straight leg a straight leg trouser so those are different ways to do it. Another thing that I've been seeing a lot of lately are skirts over pants. That also gives you another look that you don't see every day and it kind of switches up the wardrobe. I've been seeing some pants, I'm eyeing these pants um, on ASOS, they're pinstripe and they're together. I don't know if they'll look right on me in person, but I know it has potential going on sale and I kind of like playing that sale game. So I'm waiting for the price to go down. If you want to try something like this, and I'm not sure if we'll be trending this 2024, you can get something that already has a skirt attached to pants, or you can play around with what's already in your closet, grab some straight leg pants or flared pants, and see whatever skirt you have and just play around with it. I've seen it done also a lot with denim. So if you're a denim girl or going to work casual and you wanna, you know, not be too simple, play around with your denim jeans and your denim skirt. So this next one focuses on your long line blouses and tunics. And by long line, I mean anything that's somewhere in between your hips to your knee or even your calf. That's the kind of length I'm thinking about when I'm thinking about your tunics and your long line blouses. And with this category, what you're gonna do to upgrade it is throw a skirt over it. So I have a few examples here. And a lot of these skirts have 
a high slit or maybe they button on the side to allow a slit that adds a little bit more peekaboo effect and i think it makes it look a little bit more edgy if you're looking to add edginess to your looks i would say give this a try some of these kind of look like peplum belts that would attach around the waist again having that layer with the skirt on top whether it be a full pleated skirt a skirt with a high slit or maybe something that looks like a peplum belt is gonna give you that edgy look. This is more so for the edgy girl. The major key here is making sure that blouse or that tunic that's under the skirt is peeking out at the bottom of the hem adding to your layers and i feel like a lot of these looks work well for the warmer months so as spring and summer are coming around i would say this is something you can pull out as it's still cold right now throw on some tights underneath throw on some boots have your coat in hand and you can still make these looks work depending on how cold it is so so yeah these were all about the tunic and blouse upgrades you see all of this is overlapping now another way to layer is to play with your accessory pieces especially your body accessory pieces so what i mean by that play with your chunky statement necklaces play with your body harnesses play with your waist belt play with leg warmers with scarves and so on so one thing i feel like i talk about a lot but i really do enjoy doing is taking a sweatshirt taking a cardigan and tossing it over the shoulders already you have an added layer if you get tired of it you can throw it around the waist if it gets a little bit too cold you can actually put it on but but this is going to give you that added layer and it serves a purpose so if it's cold out you need to get your flick you need to get your picture get your look off when that temperature drops and you already got your picture go ahead and put that sweatshirt on go ahead and put that cardigan on even in the summer and spring it might be hot when you're out and about but once you get into a cooler building you have that scarf to put on if it ever gets too cold in whatever building you're in next up i want to say never sleep on belts skinny belts thick belts wide belts waist belts cincher belts all kind of belts don't sleep on the belt for adding an extra something to your look whether you're putting it over a blazer over a dress your belt will add that layer to that look and also if you want to create a little bit more shape if your look is a little bit too straight a little bit too boxy you can get some of that hourglass look with the belt you choose to you and i would go on and extend that to belt bags and fanny packs and bum bags whichever you want to call it and you can get that same effect with body harnesses and corset belt and to add to it i feel like a scarf is one of the most versatile things in your wardrobe there are so many things you can do with a scarf but as it relates to what we're talking about the easiest thing you can do take that scarf make it a triangle do i have a star it's kind of far away take that scarf make it a triangle tie it around back where you have a triangle in the front and boom you have a look so you can have three, four, or five different scarves and already you have three, four, or five different looks, which you're already wearing if you decide to put that scarf on. And there are other ways to wear a scarf over your tops. I started following someone on TikTok. I saw her videos in the past, but I just started following her. If I can find her, I'll leave her information somewhere here on the screen. But she does an amazing job of showing you the different ways you can style your scarves literally throughout the year. So another thing, do not sleep on scarves. And while we're at it, don't sleep on the hats. Don't sleep on the crown. I have this picture of Janelle Monae saved from a while back, but it's giving you everything. Now, this is not an everyday look. It's not. I'm telling you, it's not an everyday look, but it's something about that headpiece. And then she had the audacity to put the hat on top so you can do either or you can do both it's just depending on how you feel and where you're going like this is just something that adds a little bit extra but you see how she's layering these head pieces it's already taking an interesting look to a whole nother level her outfit could be broken into two everything from the neck down and everything from the neck up so i really like this picture so i just really want to include it um another thing i've been seeing a lot more of are leg warmers so of course throw your leg warmers on those are easy and if you don't have leg warmers the way to go around that if you have an old pair of leggings that no longer fit or whatever the Case, but the legs are okay cut up them leggings if you're not wearing them anymore you kind of want to upcycle cut up them leggings or you can get those um thigh high or knee high boot socks i remember seeing a bunch of those at target so those are within reach or you can just you know hop on amazon or wherever else on the web so there's a lot of things you can do with accessories do not sleep on accessories i know we got some accessories in the closet that we have not touched go ahead and lay hands on them and also continuing with body accessories and that greatness we were just talking about with Janelle Monae. This is just me throwing ideas out there. Now, this isn't going to be for everyone, so it's okay. It's okay. But the combination of a scarf and a fitted cap or whatever hat, it's a little bit magical for me. It's something that I feel leans into like New York street style. That is the first thing I think about. And it, like I said, it's not for everyone. If you're someone who likes streetwear, you like vibrant looks, you like being edgy, you like sticking out in the crowd, 
even if you like feeling a little mysterious throw some sunglasses on so i have to talk about a couple looks here and then when i was looking into this i gotta talk about rihanna and rihanna gave us two major ways of going about this now of course she probably has more but i'm gonna focus in on these two this very first one she has the fitted cap to the back and it looks like she has some type of lace on the face again we got that double layering going on and this is neck and above like if someone is first seeing you you're you're already making a statement from the neck up we haven't even looked at the outfit yet we don't even care what the outfit is because already you already got the look shoulders up so i really like this look from rihanna then we also have this other look when you have the fitted cap to the front and you just tie that scarf around the cap like who gonna talk to you crazy when you're wearing it who really gonna play in your face when you dress like this think about it you can hear the words of Rivi when she was like she may be able to beat me but she cannot beat my outfit <laughs> that's the kind of vibe you're on if you have the hat with the scarf on top that's the vibe you're on whether they can beat you or not that's not the question but the outfit is speaking is giving you all the drama before you open your mouth and don't let you put some blockers on don't let you put some shades on so really really love these from rihanna but of course rihanna isn't the only person to do this so i'm gonna include some pictures of some looks that i have had saved for a while i really do think it's a move i've never like styled myself this way but i'm waiting for the moment that i can so either way you can keep it to where you have that scarf on top of the hat or you have the scarf under the hat i even found a look with the bucket hat and you guys know me and my history bucket hats I like bucket hats in the past and now me and bucket hats are like this we we friends <laughs> So yeah, this isn't for everyone, but you can play with layers from the neck up, you know, you know, something a little different. For this next category, we're going to talk about playing with sheer and mesh overlays. And we're going to be using the same principles that we use with some of the other layering. What I've seen a lot of, and it's kind of like saved in my head of things to try that I have not tried yet, are the mesh overlay dress. They're usually like a tool material, have a little bit of frill at the bottom, or kind of have an A-line shape where it kind of like makes an A and, you know, just kind of sprouts out. And... I really do like that look and I feel like those are great layering pieces or even if you have a mesh overlay skirt those are things you can play around with I'm not sure exactly who this is but I'm picking up on the Dior belt and the Dior bag and I feel like this overall kind of gives Dior realness so here we have the button down shirt underneath what it looks like is that we have a strapless bodysuit then we added a mesh skirt to the bodysuit and kind of held it in place with the belt now i don't know if this is one piece and this is all just a dress but if you wanted to recreate this look that is what you would need you need the blouse you need the bodysuit if the bodysuit is too revealing probably throw on a pair of hot pants underneath and then add your mesh skirt then add the rest of your accessories now in this next look i really like the balance of what's exposed so you're starting off with something that is a bralette and what looks like a mini skirt. If you were to wear that just by itself, me personally, I would feel exposed. I would feel like I would need another element to it. And here is where layering comes in. So she added what looks like a rhinestone dress. And I feel like that alone kind of already puts you together. You're not as exposed. But then she even added on top a blazer. Now it looks like something that I'll be comfortable in wearing this in many places in public. And while we're talking about mesh, let's talk about mesh top. Found these of Lori Harvey. She kept it very simple. A lot of these looks kind of give that monochrome or just, you know, simplicity. You could take it in a more maximist look if you wanted to. But these are kind of like toned down, easy blacks and whites. So here with Lori, we have the bra underneath. We have the mesh long sleeve. And then we just have some trousers. And it looks like she, looks like she put some gloves over top if that's not already part of the top. So again, this is another way if you want to get this look the way to get that look last but not least we have this look with the Mew Mew bag and I really do enjoy this look because for me there are different elements of clashing that go well so if you wanted to recreate this and you have that mesh for the top you're gonna go ahead and wear that and it also looks like she has on stockings or tights underneath and I really do enjoy this dress okay I don't think those are pearls but the embellishment on the dress are really everything for me then on top of that you have the slit we have these rock star knee-high boots again it's not for everyone but I love the edginess of it and with it not being a heeled boot but a platform boot they still look comfortable at least I hope they are and then we have the bag on the side and I love when black and white is done in a way that is not boring so we have a look so all of these looks are different ways that you can incorporate sheer and mesh overlays to get the vibe, you know what I'm saying? So whether it's a sheer dress, a sheer shirt, or a sheer skirt, have at it. So my second to last category is 
add a corset or a bralette over it. This is a category that I personally really enjoy. It's not something that you see often, so it's really up to you how you want to style it and how you want to go about it. You can literally throw a corset top over almost anything. It could be over a dress, a top, a blazer, and especially for tops or bases that are sheer. We just left the sheer category that is sheer or match or transparent. Throwing a corset top, like a full corset top, not just a corset belt, a full corset top, I feel like is that a nap? Hold on. Oh. Sorry. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know how next going on. Anyway, so where was I? I feel like throwing <laughs> throwing a full top corset over top takes it from being overtly sexy to something more sensual, in my opinion. You know, something to the imagination. There are many ways to go about this. So really, you can take your blazer dress if you have a corset, throw that over top. Your button down, throw that over top. Your corset could be a solid fabric. It could be leather. It also could be sheer or lace. Throw that over top. And if you're wearing a button down blouse overneath, you can even take it as far as throwing that blouse off the shoulder. I came across a few looks that I feel like in, are in the same category of looks and it's really giving me an old glam, I would say maybe late 80s, 90s dressing. And it's such a vibe. And I came across these two flat legs and I couldn't find someone wearing these exact looks, but I feel like they will be fire once on. These also give me that Dior vibe. For sure, for sure. This is a Dior girl who is wearing these. And last but not least, but as an extension of the corsets, we're going to talk about add a bralette over it. You can throw over a plain tank, but what I really do like is adding that extra texture in the tank. So the tank can be pleats and folds. I've seen some folds that kind of look like 3D flowers. That adds so much to your look. Or it could be like a simple bralette that's kind of like hugging the tatas. That's a look too. Or something solid or more straight lines or sturdier fabric or something that kind of gives you like that durable or utility look so there's a lot of ways to go about it so with all that we talked about all the ways that you can go about layering throwing something on top underneath in between over the top over your head between your toes all the things <laughs> So I hope this was helpful, at least getting you other ideas of things to try out. I would say the first thing to do is to start in your closet, see what you already have, throw those things on, take a step back, see what you need to take off, swap out, what doesn't work, what does work, and also not be afraid to look a little crazy because there will be times when you try some stuff out. It may have looked good in the house, but when you got outside, you're like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> But that's the beauty of layers. Depending on how you do your layers, you can probably tone it down, take off a piece or two, or, you know, rearrange it. But for me, the whole idea is to have fun. I hope that is something you guys can do with your closet, especially with the things that you already own before you go buying other pieces. So I hope these different overlapping categories, because all of this was like pretty fluid and meshed together. I hope these gave you ideas of new things to try. It's a, it's a brand new year. It's 2024. Try something new, okay? new so i hope you got a tip or two an idea or a little piece of inspiration of things to try out and when you guys do try it out especially if it isn't your norm let me know if you haven't already please go ahead and consider subscribing go ahead and like this video so this video gets pushed to more and more people i'm trying to get into the groove for 2024 so also keep telling a friend to tell a friend like telephone so they also can subscribe and like the video and get it on the fun with all that said i hope everyone is doing well this first month of 2024 i hope you feeling good living good all the things i'm gonna go ahead and leave a couple videos on the screen for you guys to check out but until next time, bye guys.